right, everyone. Country here this morning. I'm going to show you today is a way to make a little stove out of a can and be able to put fuel tabs in it. There's a little fuel canisters, you know, that you get uh, sterno fuel, you know, a lot of stuff works with it. Or if uh, you don't have any fuel, you can also just drop sticks in there and burn sticks too. So. And, you know, I see a lot of stuff on YouTube lately about it. Hobo this and hobo that and whatever, you know. Well, a lot of people think hobos are just bums that run around riding trains and all that kind of stuff. They weren't. They were migrant workers and uh, they had a code of ethics and they had camps of their own where they would camp and they would work at these places, you know, day, do some day labor stuff and, uh, it, you know, it, stuff that happened during the 20s and 30s. A lot of these guys that... They had families and they traveled all over the place, made a little money and sent it home just the way to take care of their family during the depression and all. So, so it wasn't quite what people think, but anyway, they don't, you know, people try to tell you that, well, this is what hobo's done, you know, but you know, they didn't, they didn't know that stuff when they was out having to live off the land and travel from place to place, they learned that, and this was. Stuff that we just call backwood skills. It's just taking what you got and making something out of it and making it work. So, anyway, y'all stick around and I will show you how to make this little stove. All right, what I got to start with here is this one of the small coffee cans. And I got, I'm using these, uh, is, yeah. This is the gel fuel. I get these at the dollar store. This goes all the way back to 2020 during the hurricanes when trying to do something to cook with. Something quick in a hurry. And that's what I come up with. This coffee can, I can actually stick three of them in there. And But one of these will last a long time. So. But that's just a way to store three of them and have three of them ready. Well, first of all, what we're going to have to do is turn this into a stove. We've got to have some vent holes. So, let's see here. See what I can find on my old leather man. Gonna have vent holes around the bottom. Fire gotta be able to breathe. Got some of this little label and some of this little glue on there. Ain't gonna matter. When you're doing any of this cutting or anything, just make sure you see the seam on the can. You don't wanna you don't wanna cut into that. You wanna skip around, so let me see. I got a marker here. What I wanna do is I'm gonna not going to be an OCD or anything about this, but I just want to spread these out. Kind of make them even. I got some kind of mark on there. Anyway. So I'm going to take my little can up here and down there. Vent hole. Go directly across from that. Get me another vent hole. And if you have a church key, you can do a good job on one of these, too. You know, people don't know what a church key is anymore. That's that bottle opener that opens bottles on one end. On the other end, it's a triangle shape and pokes a hole in a can. Church key, you can make a triangle shaped holes in this, but we don't have one right now. So... What we're doing is, is we're just using our leather man. Get the 
going to do in the backwoods anyway. See, I had to get close to that seam on that one, but I didn't get on it. Okay, that ought to be enough vent holes. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my little fuel caster there. Let's see, make sure I'm not in the seam now. Turn around, I'm going to make me a mark where the top of that is. That's the top of my fuel tab on my fuel caster so I'm just going to make me a little throw me out a square that is I'm going to cut that out and that's just going to make it where we can be able to light our little fuel tab so this is the tricky part when you get ready to cut one of these find you a piece of wood or something to stick it to have some kind of backing bottle opener part of the same can opener part again to kind of poke some holes in there. Get me started. Got a little hole in it. That old blade. I'm not gonna need that. Oh, that big mallet no more. Top. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut across the bottom again. Poke me out cut across the bottom and I'll save my sides of that to last. Just going to try to do this like this so I don't, I don't distort the metal too much. Start it. Now we'll go back to the knife blade.
haven't got my, I got a little file here on this too. And that's another thing when you get one of these leather mans, you make sure that you get one that's got the little file on it. something to go across the top here and hold your pot up there hold your cup up there or whatever you kind of need kind of a little grate on it and what this is this is plumber's tape take this plumber's tape roll it out I want to make mine about as long as this can, no longer than this can, because these are going to go down inside, and that's how I'm going to carry them. We're going to make two of these. So i got to, I got to kind of flatten this out. I'm going to go over here and beat on something and flatten this out. All right, I just had to make it flat, like that. So, anyway, I'm gonna take my marker, and I'm, I'm gonna, I wanna figure out where these holes is at, so these holes in it is gonna help me with my cuts. There, where am I? My other end is going to be cut off so I can. Yeah, it looks like no matter what I do, it's going to be. No matter what I do, it's going to be right at that little hole on the end, so. way to arrange it where it doesn't come out that way so so we just go ahead and make it come out this way and then I put this up there now we're gonna have then a we'll make a little cut there and make a little cut right there that'll be perfect so My leather man is kind of old, I know it. The cutters on it kind of dull. I've got to get some something to cut with real quick. If I kept good leather man tool with me, that wouldn't happen, but anyway, I just like my old stuff. So I'll be right back. Whew. Getting hot, so all I can find with this old Rusty pair of old ten cents, but it'll work. So, let me show you how this is done here. I'm going to trim this off. And I'm just snipping. Any of the little corners off of that too as I cut. We don't want to leave anything that's going to cause me to get cut. I'm 
You have a good, you have a good leather, man. It's got good sharp cutters on it. It'll do this fine, as I do it all the time. All right. The right length goes down in my can where I can store it. Now, what I'm going to do is cut my notches. And I'm going to cut a, see how I draw my little lines on there. Something like that is what I'm going to do. What I'm, what I'm doing is, see, I'm cutting out just a, a little sliver of it to where it will hook on that can. Had to come back. I got to cut them at kind of an angle. There we go. Fits on there. What I'm going to do now then, is I'm going to roll me out some more of this. That's the problem though, when you get small on this, down in the bottom of the roll like that on this plumber's tape, it's a tight little roll down in there. And I gotta beat this out flat again. It don't take but a minute. It all beat out. See here, it's all nice and straight now. Because I know that one fits. So I'm just going to lay it up here on this. I'm going to lay my one I cut up here on this. Down, let the marker down. Another one. And we got two just alike. And these will go down on the can. And then we want these to cross. So, we gotta make sure we turn them right. So, on one of them, I'm gonna put a slot in the bottom, right in the middle. That big hole. I'm just gonna cut out a little sliver. We're now, we're now go together. All right now, this one's got to come out of the top. And you know, always these bend a little bit. You can always maneuver it around. See there? There we go. And that's your grate for the top. And snap down on there if you cut them right. And snap down on that little lip of the can in there. And they won't get all wonky on you and come off. Alright. You want to say, okay, I want to boil some water. I want to make some coffee. So 
I got another can. Got another one of my bean cans I saved. And this one right here then. You always you always clean these up now. These modern cans, they'll have a plastic liner in there. And you always put them in the fire and you burn them a little bit. Clean all that. Get all of that old plastic off of it. You want everything's got to be burned and cleaned up. It's not it's not pure metal anymore, so it's not a tin. So clean that up, remember, first. Burn it. And that right there is my coffee cup. I can put water in it and boil it. Or I can boil the water to purify it to drink. That's my cup. That's everything. And you have a little opening here, you can light your fuel, when done, you can just blow it out. We get ready to move on then, we're moving on to another camp. You break it down. I'm going to break it down, because I figure out how. All right. Like I said, they get bent up a little bit. That's all right. Easy to bend. You straight. Put all that down in the can. Might need to trim on that one just a little bit. Yeah, because it's a little bit longer than that other one. After I measured it off like that, it's a little bit longer. All right, now let's see how this fits. I fit perfect. Put my other ones in there, and I put my lid back on top. There we go. Stove, ready to pack up and go anywhere with it. There's my drinking cup. Oh, there you go. That's my little... Backwood stove you can use for you can use fuel canisters, you can use fuel tabs, you can you can make your own fuel tabs and put it in there, you can put sticks in it, you can put anything in it. It's gonna it's gonna burn, it's gonna work. So that's just one of my little backwoods tips for you today. So y'all know the deal, you know, give me that thumbs up, you know, it makes that algorithm go crazy, you know, and Share my video around and make sure and subscribe and hit the little notification bell and all that. So that's about all I got this time. I see y'all next time.